today we will be talking more about your questions rather about my picks and welcome to crypto bull if you are new to this channel in this channel we are reviewing different cryptocurrencies we are making price predictions we are doing a little bit of trading we are doing a little bit of everything related into cryptocurrencies if you like that type of content then join crypto bull and if you are interested in my low cap cryptocurrency picks join my patreon links will be in description and in first comment of this video so as guys to all of my patreons who have sent me a message messages on my patron and know that there are messages there is a lots of messages and currently i am physically simply not able to answer all questions and all your messages which you have sent me but all of your messages will be answered anyway guys most of you are asking me such questions which require deeper research and i want to give all of you and each of you guys who are sending me these messages on my patron a good answer and that's why i don't want to rush through this and i'm answering these messages which you are are sending me on patron one by one so no worries guys all your messages will be answered in this video i will be doing two things firstly we will go through bitcoin price and i will give you my plans what i'm going to do with bitcoin and another big question which many of you are asking is obviously reef many of you are asking what is going to happen next and what are my plans and what i am personally going to do with reef let's start with bitcoin price guys as you remember from my yesterday's video we checked that rsi was oversold here and obviously i told you another thing that i'm waiting until bitcoin will start getting bullish and it is happening right now on four hourly chart and we are looking on hekanashi candles i love myself trading hekanashi candles because on hekanashi candles as you can see here you can change him them here from there are simple candles which are known as japanese candles these are these these are which most traders are using but me myself i prefer trading when i'm trading using heki nashi candles as you can see these ones and because by trading these candles on larger time frames you can clearly see what are trends and where this price is moving and here i clearly was able to see that we were going down and currently bitcoin price has started to go back up and if you guys are just new to Kekonashi candles then I, I will give you a quick understanding how you can trade them with ease guys one thing is that firstly by Hekonashi candles you can see the strengths of the trend which obviously is highlighted here if you look over the charts and here we have strong uptrends and we have strong downtrends and we have again uptrend and then we have downtrend and so on and so forth and another thing is if you are trading four hour chart candles then on rsi you can trade 50 level as you can see this is this green line on rsi and i have placed this line myself there i place it on 50 and i will show you why i am doing this guys and by trading this 50 level you can clearly also make profits because most likely when this RSI is hitting this 50 I will actually change the color of this RSI so you can see it better let's go into style and I will change it to something brighter so you can see that line let's close it and now you can see guys whenever this RSI is hitting 50 and when it is breaking it it is going up or it is going down if you would for example here would be shorting you would be uh, making a lot of profits or for example we could have a look when it has been breaking up as you can see here guys it was breaking up and if you would go long here you would also be making profits if you would long here as you can see there i will show you again guys as you can see for example here if you would put a long position here and this normally is like you could also think about second handle as you can see if you would be longing here usually you are waiting or i am waiting for second handle because this is another strategy how you can trade hekinashi candle uh, hekinashi charts by second handle as you can see if it is going up here it is hitting 50 level then if you would be for example putting a long position here then you would be making profits until it is going up and when it is going down 
for example it is breaking it here guys you and if you would be placing a short here you would also be making a profits however guys if you are new to trading this is not the only thing what i am trading when i am trading oh, and these are not the only indicators these are only these indicators which i'm showing you here but i'm using many more indicators for my trading whenever i am trading and you are if you are new to trading guys then before you start or before you get into trading please first learn all these things and find many more dif different indicators to use for yourself as i am using many indicators and i am showing you only some of these indicators which i am using in my videos randomly guys so as if you are trading guys you should also have a trading strategy if you don't have a trading strategy you don't know when you are taking a, for example position and why you are leaving a position or where you are going to leave a position you will be gambling you will not be trading guys don't don't even think about trading if you don't have your own trading strategy for entering positions and for leaving positions in trading and this is only i already started rumbling guys but this is one thing what you should understand about trading don't get in there and until you learn or until you will start understanding charting for example indicators and until you will get your own feeling for charts and you will start feeling how charts move and yes guys let's get back now to bitcoin price and like i said currently it is going up but as you can see first candle it had a shadow to the downside if we zoom it a little bit in you will see that first candle had a shadow to the downside so second only second handle didn't have a shadow to the downside and another thing whenever you are trading Hekonashi candles obviously i will not be able to tell you everything about trading them in this one video because this video is not but not about that but whenever trend is going one way or another you have to watch that that trend doesn't have shadows and if the trend doesn't have shadows this means that that is a strong trend so as the strength of trend in Hekonashi handles is defined by the length of the candles itself so as you can see here at the very uh, when when we had this downtrend all these red candles only this one had a shadow a small small shadow that was kind of a little bit of warning sign but if there is no shadows on top and the, this is downtrend as you can see this is strong candle downside this is strong this is strong because they don't have shadows and when these the last two red candles they have these shadows on the top as you can see clearly here guys they start appearing with shadows on the top this means that the trend which way is it, is the trend was going it is weakening up and it is about to turn around and this is exactly what is happening we have a first green candle with the shadow to the downside and when we are starting to go upside guys then you can see that there is no candle and this is first strong candle and next candle should also be kind of green and it should also go up however guys like i said there is a lot of different situations and for me this is still no trade zone because whenever you are trading you should also know that you have to look for like i mentioned for many indicators for many time frames for many uh, charts uh, try to find as many uh, support points and so on and so forth as you can to make your final decision and for me i still have no my final decision whether this is going up and this is 100 percent turning around and this is only because of reasons that if we look at daily chart the higher is time frame the stronger is the trend that's another thing which you should understand in trading guys and on daily you can see that the last two candles they don't have shadows on top and they are going down this means that this is currently on daily very strong downtrend and that's why i still prefer to wait another thing is that as you can see here on rsi it is coming close to this 50 level if it will break this 50 it will go down most likely because that's what mostly is happening when this 50 level is being broken and next thing which i'm watching here as you remember from my yesterday's video i told you if this blue line will start breaking this red line on 
MACD as you can see here guys and this is on strong time frame or on big time time frame which we are looking at now which is daily time frame then this could also make this pullback much more severe guys that's why I'm still not making I still haven't made my final decision and still I am more bearish than bullish and I'm still standing on sidelines and waiting what will happen next guys so yes this is my quick analysis I am just trying to show you and because many of you are asking me to show you more videos on what I'm doing with charts and so on and so forth guys so, okay guys but now let's get into reef and as you can see here in reef we currently are at 3.2 cents and this is pretty much where we entered because I called this cryptocurrency at our reef at 3.2 cents so what are my future plans many of you who are watching my videos you also know that I'm doing liquidity staking or liquidity pool staking and I have created videos so if you are new to this channel guys you can go and check it out how to add liquidity staking on Uniswap for Reef and I added Reef and Ethereum pair with liquidity for Reef. If we look at charts this is still new cryptocurrency it is doing just a pullback and we also have to understand that Bitcoin is also currently doing a pullback and this is affecting not only Reef but all other different cryptocurrencies so for now I am not really worried about what is going on with Reef. I will start worrying about the price of Reef for example if Bitcoin price will be going up and Reef will still be going down but so far so good guys I'm not really worried this cryptocurrency currently has only 98 million market cap which is very small for cryptocurrency which is listed on Binance as you can see everybody can buy it on Binance, Huobi and on other different big cryptocurrency exchanges which makes this cryptocurrency very accessible and anyway its price to my opinion will go up unless the team of cryptocurrency will decide to do something scammy however I doubt about it because they are making these uh, marketing campaigns with KSI and so on and so forth so for now guys like I'm for those who wanted to know my answer I am just simply watching what is market doing and paying attention like I mentioned also for my uh, patrons who are asking me this question guys I am still on the sidelines I am more bearish rather than bullish I would say that I am 70% bearish and 30 only 30 for now bullish but let's see how markets will work out because it can turn around at any time guys we can't guess it it depends one good news or for example one big buyer if tweet from Elon Musk and this could turn around and price could go opposite way but better on this uh, for, for, from my opinion is to just wait on the sideline and see what will happen guys because it will if it will fall down we will be able to buy everything at discounted prices but if, if it will go up at least we will not lose anything and we will have our money which we have for investment and we can invest from any point when we know that trend is clearly going one way or another way so yes guys i hope that this video was not too much rambling and you found this video useful and if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one